Hello children, today you will listen to the explanation of the poem Tiger. This is 10th lesson from your supplementary reader and the poet is KKN Daruwala. He is an Indian poet and short story writer. He was a member of the Indian police service before he started writing full time. He has been awarded the Padma Shri and the Sahitya Academy Award for his writing. So the poem this poem highlights the difficult and pitiable, pitiable situation of the tiger. So let me read it and explain it to you. The tiger is in burning bright either in shadow or in sun. The tiger family is thinning two by two and one by one. Now the poet says that the tiger is not uh, shining brightly in shadow or in sun. Okay, so because the tiger's population is coming down two by two, one by two, one by one, the population is coming down. So in these lines, the poet draws our attention to the dwindling number of tigers. The tiger isn't burning bright in the forests of the night or in the wilderness of the day. We need to understand its plight. Next, the poet says that the tiger is not shining brightly. Uh, in the forest during night time or uh, in the wilderness during daytime. So we have to understand the pitiable situation of the uh, tiger. The father Sheru is missing now. Sheru has been shot and skinned. Poachers ground his bones to powder for some Chinese medicine. So father Sheru is also not seen now. He is also missing because he has been shot and skinned. Skin means tiger skin has been removed from its body for its fur. So that is why father Sheru is missing. Now poachers have used his bones uh, for making some Chinese medicine by grinding it. Bones would bring them power, they thought. Put life into some sickly man, their souls were sick. Killing tigers is something we won't understand. Uh, the, bo uh, the tigers are hunted by poachers for their bones which are used in Chinese medicine and this medicine is believed to revitalize sickly men and so the poet says that actually the souls of such people are sick killing tigers is something the, the poet we won't understand the reason why people kill tigers his skin is hanging on a wall. His bones are packed in plastic white and shipped out. A gecko on the wall is hunting insects in, on his hide. Uh, next, the bones are powdered and shipped out in plastic. And the skin is hung on the wall as an ornamental piece. The pitiable condition of tiger is shown with references to the gecko which crawls on the skin in search of insects. Once jungles trembled at his roar, trees, uh, tree tops flew, uh, flew up, birds disappeared, monkeys screamed, what an uproar, now geckos nibble on his ear. The tiger in the forest was like a king, other animals were afraid of him, his roar made the animals tremble in fear, monkeys screamed and birds chirped and flew away. But all these things happened in the past. Because in the present, geckos nibble at the ears on the ears of the tiger skin. Lord God had stamped upon his skin in equal stripes both night and dawn. His black and gold won't shimmer now. Boar hunter, forest king, he is gone. God had created the tiger on a beautiful as a beautiful beast with gold and black stripes representing dawn and night. But the gold no longer shines and the king of the forest who feasted on boars is hunted down by humans and is near extinction. So this is the explanation of the poem.